Fuel EU maritime regulation is part of EU's Fit for 55 package, aiming to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by at least 55% by 2030. The regulation sets maximum limits on the yearly average GHG intensity of the fuels used in ships above 5,000 gross tonnage, uh, calling at European ports regardless of their flags. The limits will gradually reduce, starting with 2% reduction in 2025 and reaching 80% reduction in 2050. The targets cover not only CO2, but also methane and nitrous oxide emissions over the full life cycle of fuels used on board on a well-to-wake basis. Additionally, from 2030, ships at birth will be required to use onshore power supply or alternative zero emission technologies to reduce air pollution in ports. For smaller ports with less than 100 annual port calling, this will be effective from 2035. Fuel EU maritime regulation comes into effect from 1st of January 2025. While the EU ETS introduces a price for greenhouse gas emissions from shipping, Fuel EU promotes the use of renewable, low emission fuels and alternative clean energy technologies essential to decarbonize the maritime sector. The cost of complying with these regulatory requirements is expected to increase significantly due to phased-in implementation of EU ETS, Fuel EU and other potential regulations from various jurisdictions in the coming years. By choosing Musk Eco Delivery product, our customers can mitigate these costs while benefiting from emission savings. We encourage our customers to reach out to the Musk sales representatives to learn more about these products.